For lacquer, what did you put in your stew? For lacquer, what did you put in your stew? I am making a very lovely and sumptuous stew that they will ask you, uh uh, now what do you put for this stew? Food is inside. Start by cooking the meat till soft, it's very important. So I'm going to chop some onions and add them to my assorted meat, tripe, beef, roundabout, some garlic, ginger, oregano. Time is very important when it comes to cooking meats, especially when you want to do your buka stew. Seasoning cubes. I'll be adding some salt in here. Stir on it again. I like cooking its own water. You can see it's bringing out its own water already. That's why I always tell you, if you want perfectly cooked meat that is tasty, start it first to cook with its own water. Don't pour your water immediately. Or don't pour water immediately. The water coming out from the meat will cook it first with all the seasoning before you add some more water. So I'll allow it to keep cooking. I'll add water later for it to cook through. So now that the meat is cooking, the next thing I'm going to do is to blend my peppers, onions, and tomatoes. I'm using tatashe. Ataro do that scotch bonnet and um, of course fresh tomatoes. I do not use the seed from the tatashe. I'll add some water to aid the blending. And that's it. We've got our tomatoes, pepper, onions and bell pepper that's the tata shape blended and this looks good okay so i'll set that aside i'm just going to add a bit more water to the meat all that water you saw in there right now is water from the meat directly this is just the one i'm adding and um, this is meant to cook it through and i also have some stock to cook the stew i'll add about two cooking spoon of palm oil and that's because I'll be adding a little bit of um, vegetable oil as well so I'm mixing the oil. We'll caramelize the onions for a bit. In goes our tomatoes, pepper and onions. Cover it to cook to reduce but just before it reduces now it's time for my tasty Tom tomato mix. It's very great for your stews, be it buka stew, sundae stew, name it any kind of stew. As long as tomatoes need to be in it, the tasty top tomato mix comes out perfect. It's got vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. So it's fortified with those vitamins and it also contains fiber. Tasty top tomato mix, when you add it to your stew, it gives your stew body it's luscious and when you serve this to your family and friends or your visitors, they will definitely ask, for lack of what did you put in your stew? <laughs> so I'm going to have pomo and egg in here. Um, this is pomo cleaned. I'm just cutting it to size. And something else is you can add fried fish. Yeah, basira most times add fish. But you see that when they add fish, they fry it and put it aside because they don't want the fish to break inside the soup as they keep going to sell. So they fry their fish and put it aside, okay? Uh, but if you, if you are doing your own at home, if you want to fry fish and add, you can add. But I'm not adding fish today. So I think my momo has been cut to size. I will add it to the rest of the meat. I didn't add it the first time because this is soft momo, so I don't overcook it. So I'll add it now. And I can't, I'm just looking at the meat and swallowing spit. <laughs> it looks really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So I'm going to cover that to cook a bit in about five to six minutes. This should be ready. Let's check up on our stew. Curry powder. Now is a mix of various spices. My seasoning cubes. This meat is ready. I'm just going to add the whole of that into the pot of stew, meat, stock, and everything. Eggs to this and some dry fish. I'm going to allow this cook. Looks really good. Now the aroma in this place is so, mm, it smells really good. I can almost taste the aroma. <laughs> this is so good. The look, the way it is, I don't know, what's the word? It's just full. Sumptuous, luscious, it's just beautiful. Now this is one reason why if you pass by Iya Basira or any bookstore, you really want to say I need a plate because 
the, the, the face of the food is very enticing. See my shaki, see the pomo, see roundabout, see egg. How you want a waka pass this stew? Hey, how you want a waka pass up? And the aroma it's giving. Fantastic. So, this stew, it done done. My rice done done. We're going to serve now. I have a guest. And don't forget, this sumptuous look was given to us by Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. It just makes it look better. Yeah? I they cook or they cook better food over. You see this tasty thumb mix, it add to ram. The thing can look, you know, very yummy and sunshine. So make with your food done done. <laughs> What do you think? Rate me and Yelva Sarah. Mm. Gina, mm. 10 over 10. Straight up. Me, I will take 15 over 10. <laughs> 10 over 10. 10. Straight up. This is good. Delicious. Mm. This is fantastic. Mm. I love the fact that it's red. As in, that red. That red, get it from your tasty tongue. You know, so you put tatasha and everything. If you want to give this your steel body, if you want to give you body, don't forget the tasty tongue tomato mix. Okay. To be luscious, to be ready, to be tasty. And you also have added vitamins because it contains vitamin A, D, E, K, mm. and fiber. Okay. Like it's complete. That's the secret. That's the, like, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And guys, that's how it goes down. Now. My favorite always is the egg. I love it. Whenever I'm buying bookers too. For me, roundabout, shaki, and momo. I mean, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.